What's up, guys? Chris with Chef Sports Cards here. We're doing 2021 Top Series 1, third hobby case break number 9, uh, 9.25 on the clock. We're starting at 9.30. Just hang out for a few minutes. We'll get going. Thanks for joining us tonight. What's up, guys? Christmas Chef Sports Cards here. We're doing 2021 Top Series 1 3rd Hobby Case Break number 9. Johnny Boy, what's going on, bud? Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new, uh, we've been around for about three years. We break mostly baseball with a little football peppered in every now and again. 
We ship all cards from every break. We're very generous with the top loading. And we ship as quickly as we possibly can, usually the next day. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do a free break every 1,000 subscribers we turn. We're about halfway there right now. Um, if you want a chance to get into it, you just put your name in. Or hit the subscribe. I'm sorry, hit the subscribe button. Your name goes in the random. And maybe you get one of those top spots. A huge break. We do a couple a couple thousand dollars worth of boxes. It's a ton of fun. So anyway, let's uh well, let me check my email here real quick. <laughs> Somebody just emailed me. Okay, hold on one sec, guys. And we'll get going. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's go over the teams. We'll get into it. You actually grilled today? Carter, what's up, buddy? You Are you grilling out in like 14-degree weather? <laughs> All right, uh, Diamondbacks, Lawrence A, Braves, Jonathan G, Orioles and Red Sox, Tyler F, Cubs, Matthew H, White Sox, Jeremy J, Reds, Randall B, Indians, Tyson T, uh, Rockies, Jason D, Eric, uh, geez, my brain's not working. Tigers, Eric B. <laughs> Royals, Matthew O. Astros, Melanie S. Angels, Tyler F. Dodgers, Randall M. Brewers, John T. Twins, James D. Marlins, Todd P. Mets, Thomas M. Yankees, Keith W. A's, Todd P. Phillies, Josh S. Pirates, James D. Cardinals, Carter B. Padres, Chris W. Giants, Bryce N. Mariners, Dave B. Rays, James D. Rangers, Lawrence A. Blue Jays, Jeremy J. Nationals, Todd P. And the history of Tops spot is Lawrence A. Heat wave compared to last week. <laughs> All right, what were you grilling, man? Something good? All right, guys, let's get into it. Good luck, everybody. We've had... Uh, give me one sec. I gotta make sure my camera's gonna stay in place we've had a ton of good pulls out of series one let's hope we continue it tonight a lot of monsters been very good There's tons of great short prints and hopefully we'll keep riding it tonight all right first silver pack we'll leave those for the end of the break let's see if we get any monsters like we got the other night with that cabrian hayes auto to 25 that was nuts Funny, uh, the guy who, uh, James, who had the Pirates in that break, emailed me later and was like, I didn't even realize that card was in there to get. <laughs> Huge surprise. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Get the focus going. We'll be good. All right. Bichette, Future Stars. Ortiz, 86. Something crazy in there. Brats and dogs kept it simple. I, man, I haven't had a brat in a long time. A long time. Uh, McKenzie, rookie. Nate. Nate Pearson, rookie. A couple of good rooks to get, get us going here. Got my hands going. It's like freezing in the room. I mean, this, uh, the office I have in my house, it's like the studio is done in. In the summer, it's like 110 degrees. In here in the winter, it's like 25. It's, there's no in-between. I tried to put an air conditioner in here, and it blew the circuit <laughs> as soon as I put it in. <laughs> In the summer, I tried to put a space heater in, blew the circuit. So, uh, Rivera, 70 years of tops. So, somebody does not want me to control temperatures in here. Gotcha, Carter. 
Carter, what do you do, bud? If you're still there. I'm just curious because you had said that last week. Uh, Ruiz, a rookie. Mountcastle, a rookie. Yeah, I know you were working late the last weekend, too. If not, I'll ask him later. Ryan Mountcastle. So I know we've been doing a ton of Series 1. Everybody has been. And uh, and everybody's going to start getting sick of it soon. Um, wow, what is up with this top loader? Or this sleeve is like exactly the size. That's strange. <laughs> Let me get a, move some of these sleeves out of here. Um, but next week we got some other stuff in. I know we've been doing Series 1 for a couple weeks. We do have more Series 1 next week because I still have a few cases. Um, Leaf Valiant is coming in this week, uh, which is a really interesting product. Five all days in a box, one of them is graded, nine five or better. And I actually have some flawless baseball coming in for next weekend. So if you like uh, high end stuff, man, next Saturday we're going to do some flawless. It'll be fun. Every which way. He's a Sanchez rookie. The Jeets, 86. And uh, hopefully, I think a week after that, Donner's baseball is supposed to come out. So, start to see some more 2021 stuff. Um, and then later in March, there's a ton of stuff. Opening Day, Heritage, um, Inception. What else? Uh, Bowman will be right around the corner after that, so. We will have uh, plenty to do. And a gold Vladdy to 2021 for Toronto. Number 1857 of 2021 on the Vladdy. A Madrid retail store. Oh, those car, the, oh, those cleat spike things are awesome, aren't they? The size of those boxes that they're in is nuts. I saw, um, I was watching someone break one. I think it was Kyle Lewis they pulled in the, the, the box. It's, in. it's like, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> You're putting the set together? Nice. It's a good set to have, man, with all these rookies in it, that's for sure. I cheat at the end of the year. I just buy it. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those permanent Christmas presents I get from my family, you know. They always get me the uh, set from the previous year. Uh, Kyle Lewis, 86. I can't imagine how many sets actually move through my fingers through all the breaks, you know. Yeah, flawless will be fun. I meant to get some in earlier in the year, and then prices were spiking, and I just happened to find a place that I could get it at a get some at a decent price. So, man, every which way with these cards tonight. Got nothing in this one. Anyway. All right, come on, let's find some good stuff. Mike A. What's going on, buddy? I saw you sent me those pictures. I didn't get a chance to take a look at them yet. Uh, Jimenez, rookie, and Madrigal, rookie, which means bomb should be... No, no, no bomb this time. Ricky Henderson, 70 years of tops. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Caprillion, and there he is. There's Bomb. Usually it's Madrigal, Caprillion, Bomb right in a row. Our first Alec Bomb. And for the Rockies, Arenado, black to 70. Nice one there. Uh, James D. Here you go, buddy. Nice Arenado. 
numbered eight of seventy. Yeah, John, it's funny I thought of you today. Um, I have been in no Series 1 breaks myself until last night. I was in a single box on friendly box breaks. I didn't even watch it until today. And uh, they pulled the um, Yelich short print. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, man, it's because I don't have the Milwaukee. <laughs> I just sent that one to you. <laughs> Come on, focus. Doesn't like red. All right, Bobby Dahlback, rookie. Joe Adele. Tyler Stevenson. Evan White. And Luis Garcia. So if you're in the jumbo break, we're going at 11 o'clock with that one. So we'll finish this up and uh, do a hit recap, take a little break, and then be back for that one. And the old teaser card of Mike Trout. It's funny, the, the one break I was in last night, that's what, exactly what the guy was talking about. How so many people have gotten faked out by those through the years cards. You know, he actually had somebody email him complaining, like, you didn't send my uh, Trout Auto. He's like, what, what are you talking about, your Trout Auto? <laughs> it was one of those three years cards. Yeah, it is a nice looking one. I hadn't seen it before last night, or today when I watched it. Bizardo, Future Stars, Javier Rookie, Howard Rookie, Abreu Rookie. Rookies galore. Rookies galore. Scooball. Tatis. The Tony Gwynn, eighty six. Stevenson, a rainbow rookie foil. Nice one for the Reds. Uh, the Red Legs is Randall B. Here you go, buddy. Nice one. Love those paralleled rookies, man. That's what we're looking for. That's the worst, isn't it? When you have like that one or two houses on your block that doesn't shovel or the house is empty and the neighbors, you know, the other neighbors haven't done it or whatever. Uh, Brooks Robinson die cut. I was out walking my dog tonight before dinner and uh, these people, maybe six, seven houses up for me, they moved to Denmark actually and their house is up for sale, but the house is empty. So of course there's snow everywhere. Uh, Dalton Barsho rookie, so I have to send my uh, and make my son go up there tomorrow and shovel it all up for him. You think their neighbors would do it, but what are you gonna do? Uh, Paredes rookie, Pache rookie. I'm always amazed at how people are with that stuff. I uh, in our first hit, Acuna major league material for the Bravos. 
Who's the... He's making little hand gestures there or something. <laughs> Major League Materials. Mr. Acuna for the Braves. Uh, Jonathan G. Nice hit, buddy. Anything with Acuna is good. Anything. There you go. <clears throat> um, I like, I do my neighbor's stuff like all the time. Even if I'm out there and it's not done, I just do it, you know. But other people, I, I just, not as friendly as I am, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> they probably all just wait and go, oh, that idiot, Chris, down the street. He'll do everybody just yes, which I will eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he does it. I wouldn't want to ruin the card with his autograph. <laughs> uh, Casey Mize and Sixto Sanchez rookies. Uh, Carlos Carrasco stars in service. You probably actually reduce the value of that card by putting his autograph on it. You know, if he signed it himself. <laughs> oh, you live in a complex? Yeah, no, I live in a just a regular old neighborhood, you know. It's every man for himself. It's funny, when I first moved into my neighborhood, um, Say a Joey Gallo rainbow foil for Tejas, uh, Texas is Lawrence A. Um, my neighborhood was very, very old when I moved into it. Very old, like almost everyone on the street. We were, we were the, you know, we were like in our late thirties when we moved in around here, mid, mid to late thirties, and we were the young, we were the young bucks. You know, everybody was like in their eighties and nineties who lived in our neighborhood. Well, needless to say, DV rookie, in the uh, 12 years we've lived here, many have moved on, let's call it, <laughs> uh, and Trout 86, uh, including like my neighbor. My neighbor, when I moved in, was this guy. He was the coolest guy I ever met. His name was Sid. He was like 92 years old. Guy was a World War II vet, lived on his own. He had a girlfriend. She was like 60 years old, man. He used to walk home in the morning from her house doing like the walk of shame when he was like 90 years old. Dude was awesome. Um, but now everybody's moved on. So my whole neighborhood's turned very, very young at this point. Like now we're the old people in the neighborhood. <laughs> my son's like the old kid in the neighborhood, whereas he was always the youngest, you know? <laughs> You're not moving anything. So. <laughs> well, we've gotten our fill this year. That's for sure. That's, we've had enough shoveling. Joey Bart and Carlson rookie. And this is like five storms in less than three weeks. It's nuts. When we hadn't had one for like two years. Will Clark, 70 years tops. So, hopefully we're coming to an end of this nonsense. I don't actually mind snow, to be honest. I really don't. It doesn't, it, and I don't even mind shoveling and doing all that stuff. It's just, they, in this part of the world, they get very lazy with it. Like, I can understand what happened in Texas. They're not, they're just not used to it. You know, they don't, they're not set up for it. They don't have it happen. I get that happening. But around here, after a couple of storms, they just start getting lazy and stop doing stuff. You know, <laughs> stop shoveling, stop all kinds of stuff. Uh, Lindor home run challenge for Cleveland. And it's like, you know, the, the, after the first storm, everything was like pristine. Roads were done. Salt was out. This and that. Now all the roads are half covered in ice. And, you know, then they give you the, oh, we ran out of salt. And <laughs> it's salt. How do you run out of salt? I can see not having it like Texas, but run out of it? Come on. Man. Who was it? Somebody on here the other day was saying that in Texas they were using water softener salt to salt the roads and stuff, which is a good idea, actually, because they just they don't have it, you know? You get fined if you don't take care of it? Oh, wow, that's, that's...
that's the way to go, man. See, I lived in Chicago. I, well, I lived outside of Chicago for five years, like 15, 20 years ago, in a town called Naperville. And we, it was, I lived in a complex there, uh, a Nate Pearson rookie. So that was nice. You know, when they, you know, when it snowed out there, they were right on top of it. But I used to love it in Chicago because the sidewalks were always clear because they like had the heating coils in the sidewalks and stuff to keep the, the snow and ice off it. It's crazy. Uh, Bichette, future stars. You Philly. It'll take three months for it to clear up. You'll be able to kill yourself on every other block slipping on ice. <laughs> yeah, to get to your car, sure. Uh, Mackenzie rookie. Um, Kershaw, 70 years of tops. I'd love to believe that, you know, that's all we're going to get this year. But usually our worst storms, when we do have them, actually come later, like in March and into April in this neck of the woods for some reason. And you're done. Sanchez. I mean, it's only... Like February 20th, you still got a long way to go before winter's over, but it doesn't mean much around here. <laughs> What's a fine for not doing your, not shoveling there, John? What do you, what do you get smacked with? Uh, Ruiz, rookie, and Mount Castle. They're supposed to have that too around here with like the um, Bellinger 86 with like mowing your lawn, you know? But I have this one neighbor who lives like half a block down on the other side. They never mow their lawn. It gets like two feet. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and I, I don't, I, maybe that's when they mow it, when they get fined or something. But I never hear anything about that. I actually don't mind doing that stuff. Like doing the yard and stuff is kind of actually kind of relaxing to me. <laughs> I don't have a huge yard or anything, but. Just an excuse to be outside of my house, I suppose. <laughs> and for the Orioles, who's that? Oh, Wade LeBlanc, gold to 2021. 436 of 2021. 200 if the seat of it. Yeah, well, I think that's a big enough fine to make people think, you know, twice about it. I mean, what's, so you pay some kid 30 bucks to do it or whatever, you know? I mean, I guess it depends on how much, how big it is or how much it is, but a lot more, a lot less than paying 200 bucks to the city, that's for sure. Jeez. Spinal Rookie, Paredes, and Parche. Joey Votto, 86. Leody Stavera's rookie. <laughs> yeah, it does. You, they, we're very famous for that, where it's like feels like it's spring. You know, you have a week or two of like 70s weather, and I was like, oh, spring's finally here, and then you get smacked with a storm. The ever famous nor'easter. The nor'easters love to come up the coast that time of year. Uh, Wade Boggs, 70 years of tops. The old 83 design, right? Isn't that the 83? 
I believe so. Gratterall, Imenez, Rookie, Madrigal, Caprillion. I'm telling you, man, they're faking me out here now. Ooh, here's a nice one here. Isaac Paredes, short print rookie. Man, I'm telling you, I feel like we've been getting them all one way or the other. Isaac Paredes, is that the third? Yep, that is the uh, base uh, short print rookie Isaac Paredes. Nice hit, uh, Eric B. Congrats, buddy. Let's keep those rookie short prints coming. Yeah, that's the 83 design, right? Yeah. I remember that one. It's always uh, one of the ones I liked. There's Alec Baum. Tell you, they're moving him around on me a little bit tonight. Christian Javier, rookie 86 Astros. I'm trying to think of all the top rookies. Who we've gotten for short prints? We've gotten Bomb, Paredes, uh, Carlson, and Mize, uh, Bobby Dahlback, rookie, Evan White, rookie, and Luis Garcia, rookie for the Nationals. Stevenson we got also. <clears throat> maybe we'll uh, maybe by the time we've done all these cases we'll pull them all at some point. Mm -hmm. Poshi we've pulled too. There is a our first history of tops card. This one is Project Twenty Twenty takes off. At last break, we didn't get a single history of Topps cards, and they're really tough, tough to come by. I only pulled one of the Garbage Pail Kids ones. That's the one everyone's looking for. <clears throat> Henry. And the thing was, I think I looked at the pack odds. Thought I can't see it from here. History of tops on the pack odds is supposed to be like one in twenty packs or something like that. It hasn't even been anywhere close to that. I mean, most of the breaks have been lucky if we pulled one. Spencer Howard rookie. Uh, Galiber eighty six. I think that's what it is. I gotta go double check that later. Ball rookie and Orioles team card rainbow foil. It's weird, it doesn't feel like a Saturday night to me for some reason. Mariano Rivera, die cut. My son got his permit yesterday, passed his test. He's now officially kind of licensed to drive, which is a torturous and scary thought. <laughs> He's actually really good at driving, but, you know. Thank God they make him do it differently now. Uh, Dalton Varsho, rookie, than when we were kids. Or I don't know how your guy's state was, but... Wow, that is a 70 years of tops auto of Ozzy Smith. Wow. That is number two of five for the Cardinals. 
Can you see that? Wow. That is a monster hit right there. Very, very nice card. And it, it sucks it's a sticker, but honestly, 205 Ozzy Smith is 70 years of tops auto. Sharp eyes collectors who spotted digital insert Mickey Mantle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, very, very nice hit. Congrats to Carter, man. He's gonna uh, he's gonna love that. Yeah, Carter's gonna love that. I don't know. I don't. He said he was going back to work, so I don't know if he's seeing this. But jeez, that is a that's a tough pull. Two of five, Ozzy Smith, seventy years of tops. Very nice one. Congrats, Carter. Glad it's him. I thought he was had him in the next one. So I'm, <laughs> it's like, oh no, Carter is in the next break. Uh, Joe Adele Stevenson, uh, Casey Mize rookie. Aaron Judge through the years. Yeah, man, Series One has been very, very nice to us this year. We've had pulled a lot of nice stuff. I didn't even think that was real at first. I thought it was like one of like facsimile ones at first. Uh, Sixto Sanchez, rookie. Oh, wow. Jeez. Joe Adele, Rookie Rainbow for the Angels. Very nice hit. We've had a ton of great rookie parallels, too. Uh, Tyler. There you go, buddy. Very nice hit. Congrats. Six stone. Uh, Patino rookie. It's a, a Kirby Puckett 86 for the Twins. Garcia rookie. If any of you guys were in Thursday's breaks, the uh, cards are already out and on their way to you. Harrison rookie, Joey Bart rookie. Just uh, FYI, there's a 70 years of tops at Bobichette. And Brendan McKay, future stars. Um, Carlson rookie. Pearson rookie. And our next home run challenge card is for the Yankees, Galiber Torres. Couple more. All right. Save up the old cows. And there we go. All right. Box number three. Good luck, everybody. Silver pack. Okay. 
Ozuna, Aquino Future Stars, uh, Tavera's Rookie, Whit Merrifield, 86. Brendan McKay, Future Stars. Cunha on the back. Garcia rookie. This is a Robin Yount, 70 years of tops. It's a cool looking card. Harrison rookie, Joey Bart rookie. And for the Red Sox, green to four ninety nine, Mr. Devers. Wow, that card is cut really bad. Jeez. You guys can see it's the sides there. It's a shame. The whole thing is like Stinks that it's cut so badly. I mean, it's, a, it's a cool card, and I, I love these new colors they put in here. I just think they look great. It's just like the whole thing's kind of like turned a little bit. It's strange. Anyway, for the socks, Tyler F. Sorry, I'm not trying to ruin the card for you, Tyler. I'm just pointing out it's not uh, certainly good for the collection, but certainly not gradable. <laughs> Call it that. <laughs> good for the PC if you have one going. Uh, Carlson, rookie. Sunny Gray, 86. Padres team card on the back there. All right, Panini Pack. Wow. I don't open Panini's cards away. Those are stuck together. Uh, Javier Rookie. Howard Rookie. Uh, Jake Flaherty, 86. I was watching on uh, <laughs> Instagram <clears throat> some guys down in Florida at, like the at the facilities you know with pitchers and catchers they're like recording pitchers from afar throwing you know and they're like so excited. <laughs> Sound like kids. Like they're just so happy to see someone throwing a baseball around. This is a couple days ago. But it is exciting to think a new season's coming. Uh Nate Pearson rookie. And Lindor 70 years of tops. It's a cool looking card too. <laughs> This 
funny. I got a, I got a, <laughs> I got a call. Maybe somebody who's a Yankee fan knows this. Um, I got a call on my phone the other day. I'm sure everybody's getting these stupid warranty calls for your cars. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, Rainbow Foil for the Cubbies. <clears throat> these stupid uh, warranty, car warranty calls that come like eight times a day that everybody seems to be getting. You know, these robo calls. And they come from like all over the country. You never know. But I know what they are like because... I just know what they are. And it came, one of the calls was from Yankeeville, Florida. And I was like, is that what they call the town? The Yankees play? <laughs> uh, Dollback rookie. Joe Adele rookie. And there's a Robin Yount die cut. Platinum player. Whenever I see a call coming from a place that I'm like, I've never heard of this place in my life. I know it's those, uh, your warranty. This is your last time. Do you know how many times I've gotten the last call about the warranty on my car? <laughs> and the crazy part of it is I don't, I still, my car's still under warranty. So it's like, it's not even like they call the right people. No, really. When was that? Mike, when did that happen tonight? Uh, Casey Mize, rookie. And Sixto. For the Giants, another auto. A Chadwick Trump, rookie on-card auto. 86. Very nice for the Giants. Uh, Bryce. Here you go, buddy. Chadwick Trump. 86, auto. Yeah, another cool yell. That is quite a name, Chadwick. Trump. 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 Like an hour or two ago, really? Ugh, it's terrible. Terrible. We had in my neighborhood... Um, Two summers ago, this guy, Asian kid, went to the pizza shop, which is like Dalton Bar Show rookie. is literally around the corner from my house, maybe 200 yards. Isaac Paredes rookie. He buys a pizza, and he's going to his buddy's place. And uh, Nate Pearson, 86 rookie. There's, uh, there's this little... Like, two blocks over from me, there's this little, it's not a complex, but it's like a little apartment building. And it's been there forever. There's like eight apartments in the building, and that's it. So this guy was going down to, he got, he picked up a pizza, and he was going to see his buddy who lived in one of these apartments. And walking down the street, guy comes up to him with a gun to rob him, shoots him dead right on the street. For no reason whatsoever. Didn't know the guy. Had no idea. Guy just walked up to him. Give me your money. And then killed him. Right there. It's like. And I mean. I, look. I'm not naive enough to know that bad things don't happen everywhere. I get it. But I live in a fairly nice neighborhood. For San Francisco. Again. Wilmer Flores. To 2021. 972 of 2021. Like, we had another murder a few years back, but it was a bullying thing. Like, <laughs> actually kind of felt a little good, good for the guy. Apparently, this guy got bullied like crazy in high school, right? And then a few years after he got out of high school, he kind of met up with a couple of the kids who used to bully the hell out of him in school. And they made friends as they were older. But he was not making friends with them. He was just setting them up. So... After hanging out with them for a few months and then, like, starting to become friendly, he invited them over and he murdered both of them. <laughs> and his reason was, these guys bullied the hell out of me in high school. Like, he murdered them and sat there and waited for the cops to come. It was, like, really kind of nuts. But, okay, at least you got an explanation for that one, you know. Uh, SARS and Service Alonzo. But in this case... They said the same guy, when they finally caught the guy who did it, they caught him, like, in Georgia or something like that, like, two weeks later. 
apparently he was in the city, which we don't live far from the city, um, maybe three or four miles. Uh, Jimenez and Madrigal. And I guess he got in some kind of altercation in the city with someone, a uh, shootout or something. And he was driving out of the city and he was just like really angry over the shootout he was just in. So he just randomly stopped his car somewhere and got out and killed a guy. Like, <laughs> terrible. Just a random act of violence, you know. Alec Baum rookie. Um, so it's just so weird how easily people do that. I don't know. Uh, Keston, 86. Like, like when you heard the guys, because everybody, of course, was speculating, like, oh, is this guy involved in drugs? Was it this? Was it that? And it turned out the guy was like, no, I got in an argument with someone else, and I was pissed. So I parked the car, got out, and killed someone else just because I wanted to blow off some steam. And that's how that dude died, you know? Oh, really? Was, I guess it was lucky... Only one person got killed. It sounded like he was in. For, he was looking for a, a shootout or a rampage or something. If there's been one positive to COVID, that has been it. It's the stopping of these, you know, shootings that were getting so bad there for a while. I mean, are bad no matter what, how often they happen, but been happening a lot. A second history of Topps card. Topps reintroduces Bowman. Um... I mean, any shooting's bad, but these mass shootings seem like they were coming non-stop before COVID. That's the only one positive to me. Uh, McKenzie rookie. Evan White rookie. And Luis Garcia. And for the Brewers, Orlando Arcia, Rainbow Foil. Bottom of the complex, because there's close to obviously. Well, there was one where there was a fight one morning. Dude went, got him when Paco came out of the house to raise him. Jeez. Uh. It's just crazy, the value, and especially, and look, I, I don't, you know me, I don't, politics, religion, all that stuff, it's, it has nothing to do with politics, it has nothing to do about whether you own or like guns or this or that or anything else. Do you look at other countries and they just don't shoot each other like we do here, you know, like people get shot over the dumbest stuff sometimes, you know, and that's what I don't get. Uh, Robert, 86. You know, it's, I, I, I mean, nothing justifies, well, I shouldn't say that. There are justifications for someone killing someone. I get it. They're attacking your family. They're this, they're that, or whatever. But, look, if you grow up in, in, a, in a place where you're involved in gang activity and stuff like that, I understand that. It's the life that you're in. It doesn't make it right, but I understand it, you know? It's when people do it that it's just totally random. I don't get like, how easy it is for somebody just to walk up and shoot somebody like that is amazing to me. Like, it, it's, it floors me that people can do that. Uh, Ruiz Rookie. Mount Castle rookie. Mm, Patino rookie. Believe me, there's plenty of good reasons in this country to carry a gun. It's not my thing, but I get it. Uh, Ripken, 70 years of tops. You know, especially the way it's it was before COVID. But Yes, that is a... Is facing murder one. Yes, I. That is one thing I, you and I agree on. We, I think we talked about this before, John. I, I believe in that one hundred percent. I believe you're absolutely right. There is a, a, a shocking lack of discipline among generations younger than us. You know, now I would be remiss not to say that there was an overabundance of discipline in other generations, including mine. My mother beat the hell out of me on a regular basis, but I'm okay. You know, I survived. 
uh, Bellinger for the Dodgers home run. I mean, what she did now probably would be considered some abuse to a point, but you know, I survived it. I turned out okay. I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not the dumbest either, you know, but I'm pretty normal. But nowadays, like you said, it's, you know, there's such little respect. And respect earned through discipline, you know. Because I'll tell you one thing. My mom might have beat the hell out of me, which she did on a regular basis. But I didn't do those things again anymore that she beat the hell out of me for. <laughs> you know. number four then we'll get to those juicy delicious silver packs dv garcia rookie we love silver packs uh garrett cole 86 Oy, crazy some people are just bred that way you know they have a an instinct to them that I don't know a, a, a very very one of my best friends from when I was a kid was murdered in a drug deal uh, years ago this is in fact the, the well no the one guy's in for life without parole but the other guy who was there got out and he was murdered by another friend of mine another friend of ours who was friends with him too and it was over over weed. I mean, that's the craziest part to me. Um, Joy Bart rookie, Carlson rookie, like it, it was like not a lot, and it's just crazy. Uh, Cabrera seventy years, and you know, of course, there was all this hull blue afterwards. He didn't intend to do it, and this and that, whatever. But. The bottom line was he took out a gun and he shot the kid. You know, whether he meant to scare him, whether he meant to do whatever, he did it, you know. And uh, it's one of those things I still can't get out of my head, you know. And, I mean, it happened 20-plus years ago. But two guys I hung out with on a regular basis in high school, like the three of us would hang out all the time. And the one murdered the other one. Crazy. <clears throat> it's funny too because I hadn't thought about it in a while and I just did recently and I I looked something up because there was some details to the story I couldn't quite remember and there was an article about how there is an Andrew Benatendi Platinum these cards are tough to come by to 70, 59 to 70 now what's interesting about these Platinum cards is there's a Platinum 1 of 1 also that is the same exact pattern, the same exact card uh, Tops had announced when they um, when they released that they made a mistake in so there's like an Andrew Benatendi to seventy and then there's another Benatendi that's a one of one that looks exactly the same it's just numbered one of one so if you ever see any of these platinum cards make sure you really check the number because you know you could be getting a one of one somebody doesn't even realize it but they're tough to come by nice one for the Red Sox even though he doesn't play there anymore <laughs> Tyler F. Uh, Ian Anderson rookie. Yeah, well, and and that's something I don't quite get. I'm I've never been that way, and I do know people who have been who are like, they get angry and they see nothing but red. They can't remember things, and and that's a mental illness as far as I'm concerned, you know, and. I, uh, McCutcheon, but usually you hear those stories after the person's done something bad, and it seems like a very convenient excuse. Oh, I don't really remember, but I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. But... Yeah, 
in this case with the two guys that I knew, there was no anger, there was no fight to it. The one guy just wanted to rob the other guy of his weed. And the, the crazy part is the kid who got killed was like the nicest, hippie-ish kid you would ever met. I guarantee if that other kid came to him and said, I need the money, I need this, I need that, I need the weed to sell, to make money, to whatever, he probably would have given it to him. Like, he'd have been like, here, take it, and we'll figure something out later. Like, he was just that type of kid. Um, uh, and anyway, I was saying before, there were some details of it I had kind of forgotten, and I looked, I, I looked it up online. And one of the two guys who was there, this other, I didn't really know the other guy who was there, but he actually had just been released recently. And I just thought that was so crazy that he was being released. Uh, Marte, 86. He just got hit on his porch reading. That's crazy, man. It's scary. It really is, man. Let's see. That's that's why this country's gotten to the way it is. Everybody's on the defensive. Everybody's jumpy, you know, because Lord knows. Anyway, uh, Severino Rainbow Foil for the Orioles. Nuts. I mean, look, there's bad luck. That's, that's you know, there's a million cases of people who died just with bad luck, with something stupid happening, whatever, you know. But when it's somebody's just randomly shooting because, you know, for whatever reason, you know, that's, that's a shame. Ichiro, 70 years. That's a cool-looking Ichiro. There's actually a bunch of his in there. Varsho rookie. Isaac Paredes and Christian Pache. Yeah, let's find another short print, man. <laughs> oh, in reading. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said reading on the porch. Yeah, but even nowadays, you can't even say the little city life is that much. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's safer and uh, Nate Pearson living in, you know, a major city or whatever. But, you know, that's what you think. And then you see these shootings and school shootings and this and that. Ah takes one crazy person, you know, <laughs> to disrupt the norm. <laughs> uh, what have we here? Marcel Ozuna for the Bravos League Leaders to 2021. Uh, 1879 of 2021. For Jonathan G. Yeah, I don't, I, I'll be honest with you though, John, I don't really have it in me. I used to live in the city when I was younger and Tristan McKenzie, rookie. I don't, I don't have it in me anymore either. I, I go way out of my way to stay away from it. <laughs> uh, through the years, it's just not worth the headache anymore. A girl who worked for me. Um, She, it, was, it was strange. Well, it wasn't strange. It was horrible. But this girl worked for me for a couple of years in one of my cafes. And there's a Nick Senzel rainbow for the Reds. Uh, Randall B. 
And last, not this past Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving before, I got a text from another one of my employees who said, did you hear about so-and-so? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? She said, well, I was watching the news last night, and they said that this girl had been murdered. Uh, Kyber uh, Ruiz, rookie. And I, I'm not going to say her name, but she, she had kind of a very distinctive name. It was a very kind of unusual name, you know. And I was like, nah, you must have heard it wrong, this and that, whatever. Now, she wasn't working for me anymore. She had probably left about three or four months prior. And so I went and kind of looked it up online and did some research and this and that. And it was her. And boyfriend beat her to death over... I mean, I don't know what really was over, but I, I couldn't find anything, that any explanation as to why or how it happened. But it's just so kind of surreal when something like that happens. You know, you know this person well. She worked for me for a few years. She's a very nice girl, very sweet, tiny. Like, that was the thing that really, I mean, besides the fact she lost her life being bothersome, but the thing that really bothered me, I mean, this girl couldn't have been... 85 pounds soaking wet, you know, she was tiny, and I think to myself, some guy beating her to death, like, it wouldn't be difficult, you know, like, how you think in your head, this is okay, you know, but, I mean, she lives in a tough part of town with some tough people, you know, uh, Clemente, 70 years, it doesn't, it, I mean, it doesn't justify it, it's just the way it is, you know, but, Yeah, well, you know, John, my neighborhood's kind of the same way. I mean, yeah, I live right outside the city, but like that kid being shot and killed a couple of years ago right here, that's not, you know, that's a very unusual thing. But the the scarier part was when they caught the guy, Patino rookie, how he basically just said, like, oh, I was just pissed I wanted to shoot someone, so I did. Um, Goldschmidt, the Cardinals, you know, just random act of violence. Like, the guy was literally just driving. He could have pulled over anywhere else. You know, 100 feet that way, 100 feet that way, 4 miles that way, 4 miles this way. Like, how did that kid just end up getting it? Like, that's... Talk about completely random. That's crazy. All right, we're still looking for a hit in here, right? Uh, Emenez, rookie, Madrigal, and Bomb. Uh, Christian Yelich, stars in service. Chris, what's up, man? Chris, did you get my email last night that I sent you? Or I, I guess I sent that last night. Gavin Lux. You got a lot of nutty people around you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, Dollback rookie. You got it? Okay. Uh, Donaldson for the Twins. All right, last couple packs here before we get to the silver packs. Joe Adele, rookie. And here is a Evan White rookie rainbow. Nice one there. For the Mariners, Dave B. And Joe Adele. You live in the hood. <laughs> What's up, Gil? 
Casey Mize and Sixto Sanchez. And Hank Aaron die cut. have a hit in here. Yep. <clears throat> For the Astros, Alex Bregman, 86 Relic. For Melanie S. last few all right let's get on to our delicious silver packs good luck everybody Do a quick hit recap after this then we'll be off for about 10 minutes 10 15 minutes we'll be back for the jumbo break all right we've got something coming up good luck all right ichiro robin young george brett and to 25 christian yelich for the brew crew there you go, Johnny. Very nice hit. Congrats, buddy. Nice. It was the second orange we pulled from this case, right? Didn't we pull it? We pulled the orange auto the other night. What was that? Was that in the jumbo? No, that was the uh, thing. Okay. All right. Flaherty. Sunny Gray. There's a Robert. And Evan White, rookie. Very nice. Uh, singer, rookie. Tony Gwynn, Ripken, and Baez. <laughs> and... Moncada, McKenzie rookie, Buster Posey, and Jacob DeGrom. So, only one color tonight, but a very good one. The uh, Christian Yelich to 25, and that was 14 of 25 on that one. All right, guys, give me one sec. I'm going to put a quick hit recap together, and then we will get out of here. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. As usual, it's always a ton of fun opening cards for you guys. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday night with more Series 1. We're not going to do Thursday this week because I have some personal obligations to take care of. So next week it's going to be uh, Tuesday and then Saturday next week. So uh, just give me a second. We'll get this put together. These guys. All right. Yeah, a lot of them are, are, are not cut great, to be honest with you. All right, guys, we're doing a hit recap for 2021 Top Series 1 Third Hobby Case Break Number 1. I'm just going to plow through the top rookies here. I didn't put them in order, but just so people can see them. My Sanchez, Adele. That way, anybody who didn't get to watch the break can kind of see how many they've got. Uh, there are some other ones like Joey Bart and uh, D.B. Garcia, people like that will also be sleeved and top-loaded. Just didn't want to do them all during the break. <clears throat> but we want to make sure your stuff is very, very well taken care of. So, 
Lots of rookie cards, as usual. And then, uh, let's see. Let's do numbered. We'll do home runs, parallels, numbers, stuff like that. Next. Okay, so our home run challenge cards, we had Lindor, Torres, Bellinger, and Goldschmidt. Okay. Um, just These are either numbered or they're just like, some good stuff I pulled out. So, uh, Rainbow Foil Rookie of Tyler Stevenson. That is the photo variation short print of Isaac Paredes Rookie. Very nice one there. Joe Adele Rainbow Foil Rookie and Evan White Rainbow Foil Rookie. To 2021, we have Vlad. Uh, LeBlanc. Flores. And um, Ozuna. To 4.99. Devers, we had two to uh, 70 tonight. So we had the black Arenado to 70, and then we had the Ben Attendee to 70 uh, Platinum Edition. And then we had this tasty Christian Yelich out of the Silver Packs to 25. And our hits for this evening, I really should move this one to the bottom because it's far and away the best one. Uh, Chadwick Tromp, Tromp, uh, I guess that's how you'd say that, right? Tromp. Uh, 86 on card auto rookie card, very nice one there. A couple of relics we had the Acuna Major League Materials and the Bregman 86. And then, by far, the best hit we had this delicious Ozzy Smith auto 70 years of tops, number two of five. Very, very nice hit for the Cardinals. Congrats, guys. See if I can get to focus a look even better. There we go. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for joining me tonight. Hit that like and subscribe if you can. Please stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.